Hi, my name is Josh Evilsizer, and today I'm going to show you how to send an email without ever opening your inbox. Are you watching the right video? Well, if you're interested in writing and sending emails without ever opening your inbox to avoid interrupting your workflow, then yes. First, some clarifications and redirects. Today, we're going to cover three ways to send an email from Gmail without ever opening your inbox. Those three ways are quick compose for Gmail, compose email bookmark, and sending from a Google Doc. All right, now we learn. So the three ways are, there's the first one, <laughs> there's the second one, and there's the third one. And we're not gonna talk about these though, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the demo. So control tab will take me to my first prepared page, uh, which is the quick compose for Gmail. All you gotta do is go here, uh, the you can Google it, and the uh, URL, of course, will be in the description below. Uh, once you're there, add to Chrome, add extension, voila. You'll notice here it talks about or shows us the shortcut, which is Alt-C. So there's two ways to launch this thing. You can either pin it like that so that it shows, out, shows up up here. Uh, or you can use the Alt-C shortcut that it just told us about, so we'll try that. Here it is, and this is the magic of composing without opening your inbox. It looks just like this, um, or it's it's just this simple. So what I'm going to do here is just show you how you would send an email from here, which is pretty straightforward, so uh, bear with me, but um, just to make sure we're clear on how easy this is. So I'm sending an email to my uh, buddy Dave to let him know about the pitfalls of opening your inbox when you are in the middle of a very productive session. Uh, control enter uh, always sends email from Gmail. It's your shortcut. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. The email is off and uh, that's how easy uh, this app is. The second way I'm going to show you is using what looks like exactly the same method but it's from a bookmark. And I'm going to delete the one that I left up here from earlier and I'm going to use this one. So right click, open a new tab, and here it is. Uh, I clicked this bookmark up here, right here, and it is this URL that it took me to. Uh, so you wanna save this URL, and that becomes your bookmark if you wanna use this method. How do you, how do you save that, Josh? Uh, grab the lock up here, drop it in here, and then you see it's got this messy, really long name that takes up all of our uh, toolbar real estate. That's ugly, we don't want that. So edit. And then uh, Windows period will bring up our emoji picker. And I'm going to go ahead and pick the number one because now it's going to be the number one next to the Gmail icon. It tells me I'm going to send one email. <laughs> and that's it. So it's open. I move my way through the email and then I click send just like I did with the other, um, the other application. This is just a bookmark and the other one is an extension. So if you have concerns about privacy, then maybe you just want to roll with the bookmark. The third way we're going to do this is by sending from a Google Doc. Here we go. Uh, as you can see here, uh, I have Help Me Write enabled. Uh, that is Google's AI Assistant. If you've not enabled it yet or already, you won't see this. Um, so if you want to enable Help Me Write, which helps you compose emails in Gmail or Google Docs, all the videos that show you how to do all the things that I just said in the video description down below. You do have to enable Google Labs for it to work. Finally, this method for sending an email without looking at your inbox is the only method that still allows you to access to these AI features. Uh, you'll see that this compose, the help, this compose window that I had open already, there's no help me write down here as there normally is when you're in Gmail. Um, so this help me write feature is gone if you're, um, if you're using these other two methods. All right. I just wanted to highlight that difference. You're like, Josh, but I don't have, hold on a second. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm going to now say, <laughs> here's how we uh, draft the email. We click this button, right? And it drafts this for us. But you're like, hey, Josh, I don't have labs enabled. I don't have that button. How do I do this? Very, very easy. So if you don't have those buttons, uh, then all you have to do is click the at symbol or type the at symbol and then email draft and you see it starts to pop up for me right here. So if you don't have labs enabled and you don't have help me write enabled, which by the way you should, uh, go ahead at email, click
quick email draft, all set. Uh, so just like I did before, I could type uh, an email to my buddy Dave. I could tell him all about the or avoiding the, the perils and pitfalls of opening your inbox when you're just in the middle of a great productive morning so you can avoid the siren song of email. Uh, there's the preview button. It pops up. Uh, and with all Gmail, control, enter, we'll send the email, and we are done. All right, what else did I want to tell you about? Sending email without opening your inbox. Why would you do this? To avoid the siren song of your inbox. Josh, what is the siren song of my inbox? Sirens are from Greek mythology, uh, also found in Homer's epic poem, The Odyssey. And these were alluring creatures inhabiting an island near Capri. And they would, from the outcropping of their island, sing these enchanted songs. And these songs were so irresistible, they lured in passing ships, drawing them into the shore and causing them to crash their ships on the rocks. These songs were so enchanting, the ship captains had to plug their ears with wax or lash themselves to the ship. This was the only way they could resist. Any that relied on willpower were lured into the rocks, shipwrecked, and drowned. This is your inbox. <laughs> Although your inbox is not an enchanting creature singing an irresistible song, the allure is just as strong. Your willpower is equally as futile. Once you open your inbox and you see the email beckoning, beckoning to be answered, just like the ancient mariners, your productivity is doomed to the rocks. So when your productivity must not be hijacked, avoid the siren song. Create and send email without opening your inbox. Pick and use any of the three methods that we went over today. All right, thanks for watching. Please don't forget, uh, always tons of link goodness in the video description below. Please like, subscribe, or share this with somebody that might. And if you leave questions, I will leave answers. Thanks. Now go and be productive.